Me tonight, the search continues for a 38 year old man accused of trespassing on the Belmont Abbey College's campus Sunday morning and is also accused of sexually assaulting a student in her dorm. WBTV's Claire Kopsky joins us from the campus tonight. She's been digging for more details into how someone who shouldn't have access managed to get into this building. Claire. Well, Molly, students here tonight at Belmont Abbey College are unnerved after learning that someone was able to get inside a dorm room and is accused of sexually assaulting one of their peers. But today, the chief of police tells me that all of their security systems were working as they should be when the man got into a building here on campus early Sunday morning. Around 6.30 Sunday morning, police say a man trespassed onto Belmont Abbey's college campus. This person just drove onto our campus at a time when he should not have been here and then found a way to get into a dorm. Signs around the campus indicate visiting hours are between 7 a.m. and 10 p.m. But according to campus police, no one was expecting him. Surveillance footage helped police identify him as 38 year old John Alexander. Police say all of their security systems were functioning as they should, but somehow the man entered a dorm. I think he uh, found a vulnerability in, um, in the way that students behave and uh, use that to his advantage. Police say he then went to one of the two floors of girls rooms, went through some of the rooms and sexually assaulted a female student. They have returned to campus, um, are getting all the resources that we have that she needs to, to make sure that she is okay. But today the question remains, how did he gain access to a locked building? Some students say the keypad didn't work properly, but campus police say the doors were still locked. The dorm that he entered does have automatic doors, and if there is a mechanical issue, they automatically go to a fail safe, which means they close and they lock, and students will have to then enter a, a functioning door, uh, which we did have functioning doors and our doors uh, due to lock and they work the way they were supposed to. Today, campus police say they've been making improvements to security for years and say they're taking steps to ensure any vulnerabilities are fixed. I believe Belmont Abbey College is an extremely safe campus. Students just need to remind, remember to be responsible for their own space. Uh, not that this student, uh, it's not her fault, um, but we've got to look out for each other. Now, one of the fixes that the chief of police told me that they are working on includes the gates at their entrances. They're one of those that go up and down. Now, they tell me that they will be operational once they can get the vendor out here to get them into function for the campus, but it doesn't keep anyone from just walking onto the campus. Tonight, other agencies are assisting the campus police in searching for the suspect. We're live in Belmont. I'm Claire Kopsky, WBTV News on your